I've actually got notes this time. And welcome to this week's video. It's been a couple of weeks since I've made a video like this. It's been hard to make stuff because I've been working from home. And when you leave work and are still at work, it's hard to get motivation. <laughs> so as everybody knows, Ireland is in self-isolation at the moment. We're under what would be considered, I suppose, a lockdown. So I'm working from home. Sarah is also at home and we've been working um, here for three weeks now. It'll be three weeks tomorrow. Uh, so what I've decided to do is make this video on some photography ideas that you can do from home with minimal equipment or zero equipment if you've just got some lamps and stuff lying around. Um, it's gonna be short and sweet. So first off, I'm gonna go straight into number one is doing some portrait stuff with your family. Why not? It's a perfect time to practice this sort of stuff. I got a softbox handily enough just the week before, so um, it's been great in the fact that I can get the practice in would be the way I would put it. I've been able to use this thing and try it out with Sarah. Okay, number two is toys. If you're anything like me, or if you have children around, um, you'll probably have some toys lying around your house or that. And what I've taken to do is using these toys to make scenes making photographs rather than waiting for waiting for photographs to present themselves um, whether it be lego dolls toy cars funko pops is the thing that we've got here as well uh, i actually did this a couple of months ago before we moved into this apartment i did a little shoot with a, a little vw bug that sarah has it was fantastic it was really good i used some tea lights to make street lights in the background and stuff and it just kind of it worked it looks really cool Number three, okay, this kind of goes down that toy idea as well, but um, kind of more in a, maybe a more productive sort of way, I would say. So uh, product photography, I mean, everybody's got stuff flying around their house. Why not try and sell it? Um, the thing I did this evening was mess around with some candles. Um, we've got little accessories and stuff lying around the house and trying to make a scene that sells that product. Um, it's really easy to do or you know what you can do is you can use it to challenge yourself uh, what I actually originally planned to do was the candle and I ended up sticking to that plan but the other idea that Sarah actually gave me was is that she could pick a random item um, and you have to try and make a great photograph of it even if you have someone in your house that isn't that interested in photography they can pick an item for you and you can go from there and that, that could make um, make something great. You never know what you can get out of them. Okay, and the last idea I have for my <laughs> four tips for social isolation photography is edit photos. You can edit your own, obviously, going through, re-editing old photos that you've done years ago, maybe. I know I've found myself going back through old Lightroom folders and finding shots that I thought nothing of at that time and now I'm looking at them going, damn, that was an all right shot. Why didn't I do anything with that? The other alternative is if you don't have the raw photos yourself, go online. There's loads of educational sources out there where you can actually get raw files from other photographers. These are all obviously for your own use only to, to just practice your skill on something that you can use the, that can help you up your game, up your edits and get you to the end of this period of social isolation. I haven't been enjoying it because I love photographing it. Photographing? I love taking photos outside. That's where I want to be. Not in here. Um, this workspace that used to be two monitors now switches between uh, actual work and then the work I love doing um, on, a, on a daily basis now. Um, so yeah, that was my four tips for taking photographs while you're socially isolated. Uh, and not being outside. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like, give me a little subscribe and go and tell me some of your ideas because I'm gonna run out of these ideas and I'm gonna want some photographs to take. And if you really enjoyed the video, let me know. Thanks, bye.